Golf cars help move players and equipment between holes that are often quite far apart. Gurria have been making luxury golf cars since 2005, supplying them to clubs and courses around the world. Gurria is a Danish company producing luxury golf cars and utility vehicles. The Gurria golf car is the first and only luxury golf car available in the market. The first step sees the golf car start out life as several chassis parts, which are made from bent and extruded pieces of metal. A welder takes each part in order and places them onto a jig, which holds the parts completely still whilst allowing the chassis to rotate. This means every weld location is easy to access, which makes sure all the welds are of high quality. The chassis is made of aluminum, and aluminum has a number of benefits when it comes to golf carts. Uh, it's lighter and it will not corrode uh, when used on a golf course. The complete chassis is then engraved with the VIN or the vehicle's identification number. The electrical wiring loom is then fitted. This is the power and communications network of the car, making sure every electrical item gets power and displays the right information. Next, the brake lines are fitted along the chassis, leading from where the master cylinder will eventually sit to all four wheel locations. These lines will carry the hydraulic fluid, which will operate the brake discs or drums that stop the car. This is the same braking system that is used in modern road cars today. The flooring for the occupants, brake master cylinder that forces the brake fluid along the lines and the rear axle are fitted next. This rear axle assembly holds the motor of the vehicle, an electric motor, the gearbox, and the rear brakes. Step two begins with the rear panels and the front suspension being fitted. The Gorilla has quite a unique front suspension compared to other golf carts, as we are using a double wishbone suspension, which is usually only seen in uh, fast sport cars uh, and other special vehicles. It is important to take great care when bleeding the brake system. This is when the brake lines are filled with a special fluid, which has a very high boiling point and a very low freezing point. Any air bubbles in the lines can interfere with the brakes and cause them to fail. One of the very special points about the Gurria Golf Car is that we have hydraulic brakes on all four wheels, which is quite different compared to other vehicles in the, in the industry. The special brake fluid is used because the heat from the brakes would boil water and turn it into steam. Since gas would compress inside the brake lines, steam wouldn't stop a golf car. The heavy battery weighing between 50 and 180 kilograms is lowered into position using a crane. Seat belts are then fitted. To start step three, the roof is lowered onto the vehicle by a crane and secured. Meanwhile, the complex dashboard begins a journey on its own pre-assembly line. The Gurria dashboard is built according to automotive standards with materials that you would recognize from a normal car. All of the leather trims and dials must be fitted, along with the wires which will connect the electronics to the wiring loom fitted to the car earlier. The completed dashboard can then be mounted into the car's frame and screwed in. Step four is where luxury optional extras are fitted, such as a mini refrigerator. This is all powered by the car's battery and will keep several drinks cool all day. Next, the seats are installed. The seat frame is made up from metal bars welded together with the padding secured on top. Next, the front body panels with built-in headlights are installed. Step five is where the brakes are tested by fitting the car's aluminium wheels and driving it onto a rolling road, which measures the size of the car's braking force. The rolling road checks that all four wheels are applying equal and sufficient braking force to stop the golf car. After the completed assembly line, the vehicle will undergo a functional and quality test. The operator will also adjust the lights, do wheel alignment, and do a final test drive. Finally, step six sees the golf car pass through quality control. Each aspect is checked, from the headlights lighting up to the car driving. If it passes, the car is packaged, ready for shipping to golf courses worldwide. 
the golf car. Truly a wicked invention.